sasa fikiria tukiambiwa na hao watu sasa ni mwisho wa kila kitu wewe utapeleka nini pale eh mumbaji wako hallelujah amen but john is being told lakini yana anaambiwa you will prophesy again utatabiri tena i pray for you in the name of jesus christ amen you have a chance to do the work of god again amen in the mighty name of jesus christ amen pokea nafasi ya kufanyia mungu kazi tena amen in the mighty name of jesus christ amen anaambiwa hii kitabu ambao umekula inakusaidia kutabiri tena lakini ni level 2 kwa watu wengi kwa mataifa kwa lugha tofauti na kwa wafalme so i pray for you in the name of jesus christ amen. may your spiritual level change from today in the mighty name of jesus christ amen. receive the grace to prophesy to many people amen. receive the grace to prophesy to the nations amen. receive the grace to prophesy to the tongues amen. and to prophesy to the kings amen for a whole week kwa wiki mzima we never spoke our language hatukuongea lugha yetu hakuko na mtu tulizalimia we mwela kila wakati shika mama baba mara haba mara haba na wakiwa sita kila mtu anasema shika moyo yake shika moyo yake na wewe unajibu mara haba mara haba mara haba usiku na mchana so we enjoyed other languages amen bwana asifiwe amen hii ni level ya spiritual tumetoka katika hii level ya kawaida we are in other languages by the grace of god amen and we are prophesy let me tell you kuna mahali nilienda tukitembea tu na kijana wangu tukakutana na kijana mmoja akani tukamuuliza wewe si mama unaitwa nani akaniambia naitwa Jesus eh akamuuliza wewe ni Jesus eh wewe ni Jesus Jesus wewe ni wapi wetu ni hapa nikamjua mna nikamuuliza unajua Yesu akaniambia si mjui vizuri lakini my name is Jesus how are you called Jesus na mjui Yesu tukaongea na yeye tukaongea nikamwambia nimefurahi sana kwa sababu wakati wote nimetembea duniani sija kutana na Yesu lakini nikirudi kwetu nitaambia watu tumetembea mpaka tukakutana na Jesus wa Maridi so tumeenda tumeonana na Yesu nikamuuliza unajua roho mtakatifu akasema simjui ningetaka kumuona nikamwambia I'll pray for you let me tell you hakuna kitu kizuri kama kusimama kwa chia na mtu hapa ni mtu wa mbuyu mtu wa kuonyesha picha ya mtu wa mbuyu tukimaliza uko na picha mingi mtu wa mbuyu ni mtu ambao unatoshana na hii nyumba mti ambao sisi wote ai hata tusikishana hapa mmoja tunaweza sukuka sombi hakuna kitu mzuri kusimama mahali na mtu na muombea na sio wa lugha yenu na sio wa kweli na sio kazi yako bwana asifiwe hallelujah why kwa sababu the bible is saying you will prophesy again ukikula kitabu level yako inatoka Ukikula kitabu unaenda level hiyo nyingine. Ukipata neno katika maisha yako, Mungu anakuinua. Kwa nini haujaenda level hiyo nyingine? You have not eaten the book. Kwa nini hujaenda level hiyo nyingine? Hakuna kitu kiko ndani yako ambacho kinaweza toka. Kwa nini tuenda level hiyo nyingine? Kwa sababu tume wakati tulimaliza crusade, niliambia watoto wote wakuje ni waombe. Ndio wasome ni mpaka mama akapoja kunisaidia. Nilikuwa nawaambia piga kuja hapa. Unaitwa nani? Naitwa Lehema, Lehema na kuombea in Jesus mighty name. Unaitwa nani? Wote nikaombea, I will prophesy to them. Unajua ni nini niwa prophesy? Ten years from now, when I go back to Madrid, kuna watu nataka kukutana na wao ambao ki maisha yao ilibadilika kwa sababu ya siku ya kuruse. So nilikuwa nawaekelea mikono. Tulisoma the other time, Mark 10:16, aliwashika, akawaekelea mikono na akawabariki. I was prophesying to those children. Kwa sababu tayari tume commission kanisa. Tunataka kuwe na watu ambao tutakutana na wao in the years to come. Why? The Bible says you prophesy again. Pokea neema ya kuprophesy again in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the grace to prophesy again to your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Ni wakati wa kutabiria biashara yako tena in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Tumalizie na Ezekiel that age. Ni nini inafanyika? Bara ya kukura. Nimesema unaikula kwa sababu ni kitabu kutoka mbinguni inabadilisha maisha yako na unaweza kutabiri. Sasa what is the Mungu ili utabiri? Ni nini Mungu anafanya katika maisha yako? Ezekiel. Ezekiel dream na revelation 10 zina tofauti Ezekiel dream. Moreover, he said that to me, son of man, 
eat what you find, eat this load, and go and speak to the house of Israel. So I opened my mouth, and he caused me to eat that load, and said unto me, Son of man, cause thy belly to eat, and fill thy bowl with the load I give you. Then I did eat. It was in my mouth as honey for sweetness. Hallelujah. Akaniambia, mwanadamu, kula una uonacho. Kula gongo hili kisha uenende ukaseme na, na wana wa Israeli. Basi nikafunua kinywa changu naye akani akanilisha lile gongo. Akaniambia, mwanadamu, lisha tumbo lako, ulinjaze tumbo lako kwa hili gongo. Eh, ni kupalo ndipo nikalila nalo nalo kinywani changu lilikuwa tamu kama asali hallelujah hallelujah amen verse number 4 and he said unto me tunataka kuomba son of man go thee unto the house of Israel and speak with my words unto them akaniambia mwanadamu haya Waende wana wa Israeli ukawaambie maneno yangu. Verse number 7. But the house of Israel will not see, hear you for they will not hear unto thee for the house of Israel is impudent and hard. Hard hearted. Bali nyumba ya Israeli hawatakusikiliza wewe kwa kuwa hawanisikilizi mimi. Maana nyumba yote ya Israeli wana wa wana wa paji wana wana bipaji bigumu na mioyoni mwao na mioyoni ye, na mioyo yenye ukaidi God is sending us to people who are who will not hear Mungu anatusoma kwa watu ambao hawatatusikia He is sending us to people who has hard heart Anatutuma kwa watu wenye mioyo mikaidi Amen Amen How are you supposed to prophesy Utatabiri aje Number one. Kwanza, so that you can be able to provide to these people. And do what God has told you. Na bila jisi, bila ya Mungu Verse number eight. Wa nane. I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy forehead strong against their forehead. Tanzama, mm. uso wako kuwa mugumu juu ya nyuzo zao, na, bi, na cha uso, cha uso chako, kuwa kigumu juu ya vipaji vya nyuzo sa vyao may your face change from today Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen. so that you can prophesy your face has to be changed ili ukaweza kutabiri lazima uso wako ukabadilishwe you have to be strong to do the work of the lord lazima ukue na nguvu ili ukaweza kufanya kazi ya mungu i will make your face strong against their faces Nitafanya uso wako mgumu juu ya nyuzo zao. May your children become stronger than the children of your enemies. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive a strong face in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Receive a strong forehead in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Ana mwambia I will make verse number 9. And as adamant harder than flint have I made your forehead. Fear not. Neither be dismayed at their look, though they be rebellious kama almasi ilivyo gumu kuliko gume gume ndivyo mm. nilivyokufanya nilivyokifanya kibanzi chako usio usiwaogope wala usifadhaike kwa sababu ya nyuzo zao wanajapokuwa ni nyumba ya kia, ya kuasi hakuna kitu kinafanya mtu asikie vibaya kama maneno ya watu si ni kweli umejitahidi kama leo uko na maguo kazuri lakini ukiingia pale yule mtu anaguliza swali akuria kakwa nyumbi ni masiloni na vile ulikuwa umeweka kagogo hapa vizuri unajitahidi unajitahidi unapikia mzee lakini ukileta chakula ukiwekea hapo swali la kwanza kagotai mama kaisi stare makuta na umeweka mafuta ile ya chiriri na ukaongeza ile ya kukata bana asifi tunajitahidi kuombea watu tunawakanso tunawa toka mainai dia inaitwa kudikidia watoke tikiza tikiza unasimama na wa kuna wakati wanasikia kama nadhaku anakupigia simu anakwambia leverage 
hata kama ni saa hii na damu kuona na wewe unasema umuone anakuja na kupatia story zinakaa malenge hazieleweki nyumba juu ni green na ndani ni yellow unajaribu unamwambia Mungu ataweza bwana asifiwe lakini ile asanti kubwa ni kusema hauna Mungu hiyo ndio asanti ile kubwa hata ukijaribu kuwatabiria tayari umeambiwa wako hawezi kwa nini ili usurvive wewe na mimi kichwa yako kinakuwa kuu hakuna mtu anabadilisha vile Mungu aliniambia ile prophecy alinipatia kile niliona ile dodo niliyota hakuna mtu anabadilisha uso wangu ni mgumu kila dodo you know kuna dikiro mirefu so i have a very hard face ona waji na kukuvuje even if you need me i will preach to you ona wako na ule koma ngome ukiraba ukiamka unakuta na ndira kuhubiria bwana asifiwe a hard face and a very hard forehead hakuna kitu hakuna kumi inaweza kuongoa kuna mzee alikuwa amelala mahali amejifuga dio ni ya a true story mzee ame fast siku ile ama bibi amelala kwa kiti eh bwa bibi yake ameshikwa na kawazimu ameenda amevaa nguo ile nguo emwe ile ile na kotiju sasa mzee amelala hapa mama amekuja anamwambia na kiti hora le sasa bibi unajua nguo mingi kwa nini ili akigongo asisikie kitu so amevaa mpaka kikoti sasa ndugu amelala hapa amefast baada ya nadhani hakuna mta kwambia mzee aliamka akamwekelea hapa unajua hapa hakuna nguo kwa na wakoto kazi nikasema bwana nifanye kuwa mgumu hivyo mapepo yakikucha hata kama yanadhani iko au ndio uone horondo kuikuwa tu kuna mahali umeacha toa bwana tunaambiwa mso wetu tukua mguu bwana asifiwe hata tukikutana na wao wana wanaongea vibaya kuhusu sisi hawatupendi wanachuchukia we have a very hard face our forehead is like a stone kuna kitu kinaweza kubadilisha roho zetu moyo wetu receive a hard face in Jesus mighty name amen receive a strong face in Jesus mighty name amen uso wetu ni mkubwa kwa maana tukana kitu tulipokea so anybody who is soft here from today you must be very strong amen amen hakuna kitu kitaovacam wewe fear not about the root at you see what the hill na kuangalia mm hallelujah 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 amen so jambo la kwanza ni kufanya nini uso wako unabadilishwa in Jesus mighty name in Jesus mighty name amen wale ambao mlikuwa mnalia kila saa jivuteni matozi kwa maana hizo zenu zinabadilishwa na wale walikuwa wanafanya mlimi hata ukiangalia ukitoka hapa Mungu tayari amechibu maombi yako na kuinuliwa kumefika na atakuwa anauliza saa hii kwa nini hauli ni kwa sababu leo uso wako umekuwa strong and your face has been adam has been Badaman in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive it in Jesus mighty name. Verse number 12. Then the spirit took me up and I had behind me a voice of cursing water. Uh saying blessed is the Lord. Verse 14. So that if the spirit lifted me up and took me away and I went in bitterness in heat of my spirit but the hand of the Lord was strong upon me. Ramashika rabana. Rete lele lele. Nimesoma 12. Na nimesoma 
ndipo roho akaniinua nami nikasikia nyuma yangu sauti kama mshindo wa radi radi kuu ikisema na, na uimidiwe utukufu wa Bwana mtokea mahali pake mm. basi roho akaniinua akanichukua mahali pengine nami nikaenda kwa uchungu na hasira kali rohoni mwangu na, na mkono wa Bwana ulikuwa juu yangu kwa nguvu haleluya amen kwa nini utaprophesy kwa nini utatabiri because of the anointing kwa sababu ya upako there was the spirit of the lord which was lifting him kulikuwa na roho ya Mungu iliyokuwa ikimuinua and there was the hand of god which was strong na kuna mkono wa Bwana ulikuwa na nguvu so two things you need in your life mambo mawili unahitaji kwa maisha yako after receiving the book baada ya kupokea kitabu so that you prophesy ili ukatabiri the spirit need to enter you roho anahitaji kuingia ndani yako and the hand of the lord be me to be upon you na mkono wako unavaa kuwa juu yako may the hand of the lord be upon you amen in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and may it be strong in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Number last one. Son of man verse 17. I have made you a watchman and the house of Israel. Therefore hear the word of my mouth. Give them warning from me. Mwanadamu, mm. nimekuweka kuwa mlinzi wa nyumba ya Israeli. Ah. Basi sikia neno hili litokalo katika kinywa changu. Mm. Ukawape maonyo haya ni haya yatokayo kwangu. Ah. So number three, you are a watchman to watch people. Hallelujah. You want your children, you want your press, your parents. Wewe kazi yako ni kuonya watu, ndipozo umepokea kitabu na umekula. Wakati unaenda kutabiri, kuna mambo ya kuambia watu, this is the warning. Bwana asifiwe. Lakini hatupendi kukosana na watu. Mtu akikuja vile alivyo atumwambie sida zake. Hapo chini inasema mtu akiwa verse 19. Like you say if you want the wicked and turn not from his wickedness or from his wicked ways he shall die but you shall deliver your soul. Lakini ukimwona mtu mbaya wala yeye auachi mbaya wake wala njia yake mbaya atakufa katika uovu wake bali wewe umejiokoa umejiokoa roho yako kwa nini tuuponye watu ili tujiokoe that's why you need to tell people usipokuwa na utakatifu utaingia mbinguni ndio mtu akiendelea kuishi katika dhambi eh mimi nimeokoa nafsi yangu lakini pale chini nasema sitaki kusoma kwa sababu ya masaa usipomwambia na yeye akufe damu yake nitakuitisha Situji tutila beda kama isiani. Situjioshe damu. Tunaweza damu za watu. Situnae. Amen. Haleluya. Amen. Mtu ikiwa ni mwenye dhambi mwambie ukweli. Umuonye. Ndio akitengeneza jiwa zake well and good. Asipotengeneza, usipomwambia ukweli, amesema damu yake itakuitisha. Lakini ukimwambia ukweli, damu yake wewe umejiokoa. That's why we need to preach the gospel in the right way. Na sijali mtakuwa wakati. Nimepatiwa wengi sana na Mungu na nyinyi ni waho. Ni waho. Mko pale. Lakini we must tell people the truth. We tell them the truth. We want them. Dipoza tumekula kitabu ndio tuseme kwa madhabahu wakuwezi kuwa na uzinzi. Tuseme kwa madhabahu uwezi kama maisha hili unataka. We should want people ndio damu yao iotoke mikononi mwetu lakini angalia kanisa la Bwana watu wanaingia wanaambiwa hakuna mambo mengi ujiadikishe tu na wewe unatoa pesa kila mwezi you are a member that's a lie you can be a member of your gospel church but you need to be a member in the kingdom of god hakikisha jina lako limeandikwa katika kitabu kwa maana mdaudu uko nao hapa ni mchache sana na ukitaka kujua muda huu ni mchache sana, angalia nywele zako pale katikati. Kuna zingine zimetokea wiki hii au kwa umeziacha last week. Ukitaka kujua muda huu ni mchache sana, angalia maisha yako vizuri. Angalia wale watu ambao 10 years ago walikuwa na mna gani. Saa hii maisha imebadilika. So we need one people, deposit tumekula kitabu so that we can be watchman. 
tuwaambie ila jia mnapita wanaweza kosa kukuamini alituambia hapo juu lakini unapowaambia vile inastahili mikono yako inakuwa haina damu that's why i keep telling you you need to be righteous to see god that's why i keep telling you you need to look at your life ndipoza tunaambiwa na yule mwenye mwenye and when a righteous man turn from righteousness and commit iniquity and lay and I rest bring block before him he shall die and he shall not be uh, and thou hast not given him a warning he shall die in his seed his righteousness which are done shall not be remembered but the blood I require from you I was on verse 20 tena mtu mwenye haki aiachapo haki yake mtu labda twende pole pole mtu ambaye ni mwenye haki akiacha haki yake na kutenda uovu na kutenda uovu nami nikiweka kikwazo mbele yake nami nikiweka kikwazo mbele yake atakufa atakufa kwa sababu hukumonya kwa sababu hukumonya atakufa katika uovu wake atakufa katika uovu wake wala matendo yake ya haki aliyoyatenda hayatakumbukwa mm lakini damu yake nitaitaka nita, mikononi mwako kwa sababu haukumuonya yule alikuwa mwenye haki alikuwa amesimama vizuri akarudi kule Misri damu itaitishwa lakini hapo chini nasema ukimwambia wewe mwenyewe hata akikufa kwa dhambi wewe mwenyewe sitakuitisha so can you be a good watchman from today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Amen kama watu wamefanya makosa na Biblia imekataa wacha kuacha kukompromise abia watu kweli jirema mwe rei hizi amepitia Biblia inafanya nini imekataa diuondoe damu kwa mikono yako Bwana asifiwe amen wacha kwenda udhoni usiku na unatuambia ni watoto unaendea kutoka shule Bwana asifiwe amen mimi sikuoni lakini wakati tumebeba pombe hii ara kama ime ni karofu <laughs> ni munazi umebeba kule kule coast ni munazi na beba hivi umebeba hivi na umepigwa picha na uko sawa ni watoto wako umeprofesaia this is your life maombi yako acha kuomba kwanza tu kwa sababu wakati ulibeba hiyo tu kile ulienda nacho nyumbani ulienda na pombe hiyo ikiwa spiritually ulienda na hicho chondo na ukapeleka nyumba. Jioni hujui kile ulienda nacho. Hicho ndicho ulipelekea watoto wako. Si unanonga watoto vile wana ukikuja wanakwambia ma umekuja eh spiritually ulikuwa umebeba pombe. So wakati walikuwa ningia kwa. Bwana asifiwe. Nikikataa kukuwa utakuwa na shida sana kesho. Amen. Hebu sema hivi kafa kwa kutali Mungu le. Acha nikae kama sija. Eh kafa okwe utale Mungu le kama afadhali nikufe kama sijalipua bahari no diguru na niende mbinguni hadu hoguru badala ya nitolewe bahari na rusiero la kule na vizazi vyangu vyote viishe amen amen umeshika vile nimesema kwe itale mwekaje eri nikufe kama sijalipua bahari kukira guru kuliko nitilipua hiyo bahari na rusiero la kwa kule na kizazi changu chote amen amen Amen. Amen. Tunaelewana? Mm-hmm. Afadhali ukufe ukiwa hakuna kitu umetolewa. Ama hakuna mtu anajua kwenu. Ama hakuna it is better you die there and you live a righteous generation. Kuliko tutoe buzi, tutoe karofu, tutoe tofe, tufanye mambo ile ikine na wazee wengine nimeona wako na nguo za karasi juu gani? Ati dio na mix na pasta pale na mambo mengine sikatai lakini sitakudu miungu mingine hiyo na mifano yoyote sitapiga magati ya kuone shujudu nitapenda na sadaka za
mapema inaniambia ah usi unadeliva watu kwa kansa acha kuwa deliver sana tunakataa sasa na being deliver the name from cancer usi wa deliver wachana na wao wakufe hapo ji kasema hiyo itaendelea swali ni hili saa hii saa hii tunaongea na wewe si ni neno limefanya tukutane si ni utakatifu umefanya tukutane ni nini tumekuja kutafuta hapa in the normal course of life mimi na wewe hatuwezi kutana kwa maisha ya kawaida lakini lile neno tulikutana nalo tukalikula nikakuwa sweet na nikakuwa bitter tukaanza tu prophesy ndio nimefanya tukutane so tusiache utakatifu na tusipotee kwa njia za Bwana kwa sababu hakuna haja tuharibu imara bangu na nyinyi wote mkufe the moment hii imara bangu itakosa the law law wa Bwana na ikose moto let me tell you zile kanza zote tumefukuza hapa hakuna mahali zimeenda mkiichanganya hapa eh hey, let me tell you itachukua muda mfupi sana utaziona lakini ukikaa bila mmekaa by the grace of god na mmesimama na haki na mmesimama na ukweli na mmepotea katika maombi i'm telling you utakuwa ite tuko hapa na wewe utakuwa 90 tuko hapa na wewe utakuwa 100 tuko hapa na wewe watoto wako watasoma na watainuliwa bwana asifiwe amen tukubali kukula kitabu na tutoe unabii wa kweli tukubali Mungu atutumie mimi na wewe na tusimame kwenye haki kwa maana let me tell magari manyumba mashaba Mungu ameahidi kuwapatia hata ahitaji maombi pure gospel tuhitaji maombi kuopewa atinunue plot au hiyo sio maombi hiyo revo let me tell you the truth hahitaji maombi bwana asifiwe ikiwa mtu wako na groove anaingia hapa anaponywa kutoa groove na kutoa mapepo ni nguvu kubwa kuliko kupatia wewe gari <laughs> bwana asifiwe ni mzuri macho yenu ifunguke akiroho ile mambo unaona katika imadhabahu ikitendeka katika ya akiroho hiyo ndio mambo inafanya watu wakue maskini so you don't you only need kusimama pale usikie vile malaika anasema na ukubali ukikubali afieko is not an issue bwana asifiwe ukikubali prod is not an issue hata usipiga magoti kutoka sasa atipona na naomba nicheke nyumba that's not an issue hata sio kitu tafuta roho yako msikilane na yeye mungu awe rafiki yako na we uwe rafiki yake kwa sababu rafiki yako akikuja kwako kitu cha kwanza ni kiche wapi chai ya pili wapi mkate ya tatu utakula chakula when a friend comes to your house unampatia vitu zote when you become a friend of god mkiingia kwake tu kila chochote unahitaji that's the secret ingiza kwa hiyo amen kwa anga ya kiroho hakuna mtu apiwa gospel maskini hakuna na yule unakuta akiwa maskini ako na kashida kidogo kuna kuna attachment kuna kitu wamejifungalisha na madhabahu aidha ya kwao ama ya uko na hataki kuondoka na Mungu mpaka mmalizane ndio ataingia maisha yako Mungu ubariki mtu akiona hakuna kitu kingine unategemea ni yeye tu bingu tunaangalia lakini kama kuna mtu mwingine kitu kingine mambo mengine let me tell you you never bless bwana asifiwe amen akaambiwa wewe ndio watchman kuwa watchman wa nyumba yako kuwa watchman wa watoto wako kuwa watchman wa mama yako na baba yako bwana asifiwe babaku ni mzee kiasi lakini kuna mambo tunakaa chini na mwambia by the way that hii hauwezi kupitia hapa ukipitia hapa tutapotea situpitia hapa anasema umesema hivyo wewe na kweli sikuwa nimeona namna hiyo why 